What's going on guys, Lawson here. It is about 5 in the afternoon. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> that was thunder. It's pretty nasty outside today. You know, we got a little bit of the storm hanging out, but I think we'll be alright. We'll just have to kind of keep an eye on it and play it safe. But, you know, it's been a while. I haven't been throwing artificials all that much lately because live bait has genuinely just been very, very productive for me. And live bait typically is more productive, but there's also so much fun in throwing artificials. So that's what we're going to start off with today is try to throw some artificials and see if we can make it happen. If it's just not happening on artificials, we'll switch over to some live bait. But we're going to start off throwing a big swim bait around. I mean, big. It's like a five and a half inch swim bait. And we're going to see if we can hook up with some snooker jack, tarpon, whatever is really biting. But we're going to get at it. All right, I see a bunch of finger mullet flipping around up in here, so we're going to take advantage of that and see if we can throw a net on some real quick. All these mullet are pretty freaking big. <laughs> Point proven right there. <laughs> There's just a whole school of them right here. Alright, we got a nice juicy live mullet right here. Like, this is honestly just about the most perfect size mullet you can get right here. Maybe a little smaller, but oh, she looks nice and fat. And what we're going to do is something a little different. Is just we're going to flip docks with these mullet almost. And just throw them up right around the corners of pilings. And even flip them pretty far underneath the dock. We're using this heavy gear right here. You know, if we do get whacked by a decent sized snook with this heavy gear, 80 pound braid, 60 pound fluorocarbon, big fat heavy rod, strong reel, we can yank them out of the structure if we get whacked up and tight. So, the plan is we're going to cruise along, kind of flip mullet like we'd flip an artificial up in the dock. And it's a pretty fun way to use live bait and still not just be bored out of your mind, you know, and just float one out the back nice and slow doing this. It can be a little more active fishing while still using the advantage of live bait to you. So that's the plan for now. Holy freaking giant. What is going on over here? Oh god, I just got crushed by something huge. That's gotta be a big jack. Oh god, slow your roll, buddy. <laughs> it was trying to eat like a 14 inch horse mullet, whatever it was. I pretty much locked down on this fish to get him away from that dock. He started running. Hey, but that's why I cruise really slow when I'm fishing because oh my heart's pumping. Let me catch my breath for a second. That's why I cruise super slow when I'm fishing because if you're making a lot of noise, stuff like that's just not going to happen. But that fish didn't know I was here, so it was trying to eat a giant mullet behind me. I think I might have gotten the little one out of the group. Because whatever was trying to eat that horse mullet was a huge fish. Because there was about a 20 inch horse mullet trying to get eaten up in that. This is just, I assume, a jack. I'm just assuming this is just a like a 20 pound jack. And it's going to be like a 50 inch snook sitting on the end of this line that just hasn't come up yet. It engulfed that little mold I threw. It's just coming in now, so I don't know what this thing is. I don't know if this fish is even really aware of what's going on. That was a mean head shake. Still mean. I mean, it's gotta be a jack, but still not confirmed on what this thing is, but oh, it don't get much better than hooking into the back end of a freaking huge jack. He's doing a slow burn on me on this one. I don't think he's nearly as big as that one I caught the other day, but it's still a good fish. Uh-oh. <laughs> I might be underestimating this fish. He just took a very weird first run on me where he just only ran about 20 yards and then just kind of sat and circled the boat, which typically Jack, it's like hit. 80 yard run and then it's dragging them back to the boat and then they circle but he's kind of doing things in reverse i'm gonna use my troll motor to run over to this fish just because there's a boat coming this direction and i don't want him to get on top of my fish oh god something strange is going on here i don't know if it's just a jack and it's still got another one swimming around with it 
but it's just fighting weird. Gosh, this thing is a donkey. He's not fighting nearly as hard as that monster I caught the other day, but this is a big jack. This is a very big jack. Grab my glove and put my glove in my pocket just so it's ready. It's doing tuna circles on me. I really haven't gotten a good look at this fish. He's a big one. Dogging, that's for sure. I like love it slash hate it when Jack get this big and they can just run you and circle around the boat and you're pretty much at the mercy of what they want to do. He might try to get underneath the boat here. They got multiple boats coming. Dude, this thing is no joke though. Okay. <laughs> another absolute donkey probably a 30 pounder right there look at that freaking fish what a monster Whew. that is unbelievable right there gosh <laughs> there's zero about 45 right there to the fork okay Oh, freaking donkey, dude. He's about as big as that last one, too. The head on this fish is no joke. All right, we got the troll motor in gear, and we're just gonna put our hand in this buddy's mouth and just drag him right along. Oh, gosh, he just bit down on my thumb so freaking hard that hurt. <laughs> Most people don't lip jacks, just so you know. What a truly incredible fish this thing is right here. I mean, there's a reference for how thick across this thing is across the back like that. Gosh. That fish took a long time to revive, but he finally kicked off there pretty slowly, but he kicked off and started moving. So, I mean, oh, that was just another freaking submarine. I mean, that's what we've been talking about. And that's the type of fish that we're looking for is a freaking tank like that. Oh. He wasn't quite as big as the one I caught the other day, but that was still a 30 pound fish easily. I mean, the head alone on that thing was about eight inches across and he was 43 inches, I believe, I think is what I said. I mean, just an absolutely brute of a fish. I think you can see my excitement level isn't quite as high as last time I caught that monster one. Cause one that wasn't quite as big and I'm still pretty elated on that last one I caught, but that was just an amazing, amazing fish and I mean it's so important to take your time and release those big fish like that those are the guys you got to take care of they pass on the big fat genes so you get more big donkeys swimming around the river like that oh but that was just amazing um I mean that was just so sick but we're gonna re-rig by that put a new mullet on see if we can catch a big snook or another big jack man but you don't get much better than that honestly truly a spectacular night just to be honest i mean i couldn't resist finishing the day by parking right here against the sandbar and just taking in the beautiful view um it doesn't get much better than that honestly you know it would be nice to catch maybe a few more fish tonight but when you catch a fish of that quality and that caliber you just cannot complain about it i mean that fish right there is the closest you'll get to a gt without leaving the continental united states you know they got them in hawaii but that's the only place in the u.s at least i'm aware of that they have gt i mean just talk about a fish just I mean, their power is just so unmatched, at least for what's here in shore that you can find. They're just world-class fighting fish that, you know, I think now they're starting to get a better reputation for how great of fighters they are, but people still don't like jacks that much. But, I mean, you can't complain about a fish that size that pulls and fights for that long and that hard. It was just truly an amazing night. I'll talk real quick about what I threw today just to give you the lowdown. So, 
This is a eight foot G Loomis swim bait rod. It's meant for throwing big three to eight ounce swim baits, but I also use it to throw live mullet. It is the perfect setup for that. 400 Calcutta with a power handle that I put on here myself. 80 pound braid to 60 pound fluorocarbon attached with an FG knot to a seven knot circle hook. Now the 80 pound braid can be a little bit overkill sometimes, but when you hook a fish that's in tight cover, you're gonna be so glad you have that 80 pound braid and that 60 pound fluorocarbon. You could obviously catch a fish like that on lighter tackle, but you know when you stick them with heavy tackle, it helps really keep those fish alive and it raises your odds a lot of actually landing those trophy fish for sure. All in all, just an absolutely beautiful night. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was just absolutely killer catching another one of them big yellow submarines. They are probably my favorite fish to catch right there. You know, I spend most of my time targeting snook, but I mean, those guys, as much as you, I, I mean, as much as I love catching a big snook, a big Jack Creval will fight 10 times harder than a big snook does. It's just a different fight in general. But, I mean, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're not already. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. And, I mean, I feel truly blessed with just such a wonderful night. Anyway, that's it, guys.